We put the ring down so it doesn't bother you. Enter he answer. And let us hope that's uh... hello. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum How are you doing, Yaqub? I'm doing well, thank you. How are you? I'm fine. Did you get your shakes ready, my friend? Okay. So I I thought it was four thirty, but uh, anyways, I spoken to him yesterday. Yeah. Um, long story uh, short, he's unwilling to debate, uh, uh, which is very unfortunate. Do you remember what I told you? Uh, uh, yes, that they are not going to be willing to debate. Yeah, they they knew who I am, right? This is why they refused, right? Uh, no, I didn't mention who you were. <laughs> really? Um, yeah, really. What well, what I did was I I asked them the questions I asked you yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. And I said to them that I spoken to a Christian, and he told me this. And I said to them that you know he wants to have a conversation with you tomorrow at four thirty. Um, they said um, no, they're not willing to do this. They said they would ask around. Um, I, I'm not too sure if that's the case, to be honest. All right. Well, we, what we can do, I mean, we cannot force people to come and debate us, but we would like to have somebody have knowledge, maybe. Because you know what what uh, usually Muslims they do say that uh, I debate people who do not know, and when we challenge the sheikhs, they don't show up. You know what I mean? Yeah. So so what what I what I've gone to do is actually um, so th there's two things I've done in the meantime. Um, I've re I've looked at um, one of the books of Ibn Kathir, um, Al Sir Al Nabawi. If mm -hmm. you know this book, mm -hmm. um, to uh, check if the uh, mention of Khadija's wedding mm -hmm. is there. And I'm not sure if you read the book, but it is mentioned there, actually. Um, yeah. Yeah, so... Well, you know, know, I mean, do you think really that I am going to send you a link, Muslim Ahmad, even the Muslims, they have audio for it. And, I mean, you can type in two minutes in Google, Prophet Google, peace be upon him. And he will get you the answer. So, I mean, it's going to be embarrassing. And it's going to be, first, first, I'm a Christian, you know, and I'm forbidden to lie. Secondly, you know, lies are very short. The rope of a lie is very short. It doesn't matter how you try to extend it. People will find out, right? So there's no point of making a, saying a lie to you. And then you will find that this is not a true. And then what? Then I will lose, I will lose your respect. And I will lose uh, the argument. And uh, what? I accomplish nothing, right? There's no yep. point. <laughs> so, so we will not mention anything unless we are sure. So, uh, so what do you think, Yaqub? You can get us anyone else replacing those people who can somebody have knowledge, or everybody retreat. Uh, well, I'm I'm going to ask around to to be honest. Um, th this is what I'm going to do. Right. Um, I think that's correct. But at the same time, have you uh, heard of a channel called Islam Kiway before? I don't care really for names, but what I know that Muslims, all Muslim channels are the same. They are copy paste of each other, and nobody knows what he's talking about. No, what I mean is that it's an Islamic uh, channel um, where you can call in as well. Yeah, well, give uh, me their Skype. I will call them right now. No problem. Um, no, they they come in at they they are on TV. Uh, I'll send you the information, but they come in at twelve o'clock. You see, I called I called the Dean show before. You know. And the Dean show. Yeah, they did not let me go. Actually, I have it recorded. I posted on YouTube. You know, they, mm -hmm. they, they, you know, they lie. <laughs> they have a preset people to call and preset questions. You know, so like it's not like now. I do not know who's going to call me. They have a, they have a, uh, they have a questions already is made. They made someone of them calling the, what it's called TV, and supposedly they are going to answer the one who's caller. And the Dean Show actually go farther with their lies. They don't even receive calls, you know, because when I call, they did not let me go through. And the guy you say state, you know, he he have a cell phone. Have you ever heard of a TV have a cell phone? You're answering by cell phone. And nobody hear what he is saying. And nobody hear, I mean, who, who is calling. And nobody hear the voice of a caller. And Yusuf state, he said, uh-huh, yes, brother. Uh-huh, okay, okay, we will answer you. But what is the question? Who was talking there? Nobody knows. And I tried to call them. They did not let me go. They right away they figure out my voice. So okay. Anyway. Well, what I will do is this. I will do one thing then. I will call tomorrow at twelve o'clock, 
and I will ask them um, the three questions. And I will also ask them to uh, give us a good reason why that they're refusing to speak to you. Yeah. Uh, and you we'll can oh. tell them all what you need to do. If you don't want to call, like maybe they feel like they are higher higher than us, we are lower than them, no problem. We are humble people. You just give me your Skype, I will call you. I will call you myself, you know. No problem. I, yeah. All what I want, okay. I want just people willing. They will not feel like we are harassing them, you know what I mean? I mean, there's no harassment here, right? We're talking no, I about know, religion. but I mean, it's a, if, a, if somebody have a private Skype, and yeah. somebody give it to me. Maybe the guy is sitting with his wife, right? You know what I mean? Uh, maybe he's with his kids now. Maybe he's, you know. So we want people who knew that we are going to debate them. And they knew what the topic, you know, it's about Islam. And they are willing to do it. Then I will call him. Otherwise, I don't want to. Like, if I know now a sheikh num phone number, I'm not going to call him. You know? I will not. Yeah. Because this is not, this is not right. I mean, people, they have their private life. And you don't jump, you know, and call people in their phone. This is harassment, you know. Uh, Unless it is like, okay, uh, now we have a program. Whoever want to call us, call us, etc. And then it's a different story. But my experience with Muslim programs, they don't really take calls. They have a preset questions like Zach and Naik. Zach and Naik, he's standing the stage. The sister there is asking question. Sister, I'm going to answer you. You know, and uh, you know, and the drama start, and the question, and the answer is very funny and very. Uh, the question is silly, and the answer is is more silly. You know, uh, like uh, do you know, I don't know if you remember once uh, Zach and Nag, they asked him, uh, they so supposedly a woman. She asked, "How come Muslim women she will not get uh, virgins?" You know, like the Muslim man. Yeah. So Zach and Nag, he said to her, and you can go find the video. He said, "Brother Sita, that are you asking question? How come a Muslim woman she will get virgin?" First of all, the word hur is a plural word. It is a female and male. So sister, it's Allah, you will get hur. Like, what the heck? Hur, <laughs> hur suddenly is, is, is male too? <laughs> I mean, the Quran says, There's nobody from a human or a genie made them intercourse and have made them bleed, right? Yeah, no, Hur are, are, are females for Female, sure. Females, uh, go watch the video and he says to her, Hur is not a male, it's not a female, it's for both. So inshallah you will get Hur. And all the Muslims will, wow, look at the answer, Allahu Akbar. You know, I mean, what a, what a nation of ignorance. So what I can say, I mean, my friend, if, if those are their scholars, and this is their top scholars in TV show, you know, I mean, what about the ignorant? If this is the, if this is the knowledgeable one. You know, yeah. and I imagine, mean, uh, imagine even how faithy the promise he is promising the women, and he is in the stage that you will have, excuse my language, you will have a lot of men to if you. This is exactly what he's saying. I mean, there's no shame. He told her, Inshallah. Say that again. Sorry, say that again. He said to her when he promised her a lot of hur male, you right? Yeah. He is saying to her, a lot of men will if you. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this is exactly what the promise is. Inshallah, sister, you will get a lot of mayhem. <laughs> what does that mean? I mean, this is disgusting. This is filthy. Mm -hmm. You know. So, so l l let me ask you this. Um, y you know, in in Islam, the prophet is the best of example, right? This is what we're taught. Mm -hmm. um, I, I want to understand from your perspective. Um, what is the reason why you're not a Muslim? Because you're obviously well-read um, in Islam. You, you, you clearly are educated. So I want to know first why you're all, Muslim. First of all, Yaqub, Yaqub, what does the word Muslim mean? Mm, someone who submits. That's not true. The word Muslim means someone who surrenders. And surrender is an act of cowardness. So a man, he comes to us with his army, and he says, surrender or die, you know, surrender okay. or die. If you go to the Quran, just to prove my point to you, uh, now we know that Muhammad, he, he, you know, he ordered the Muslims, uh, you know, uh, to fight the Christian, the Jews, the, the, the Arab, etc. And he said to them, if they surrender, which means they become Muslims, don't kill them. If they, the Christian, in the case of the Christian and the Jews, because he want money and income, he says, if they pay jizya, don't kill them, you know. Just yeah, pay money, you can worship any god you want because he's a hypocrite. But if you go in the Quran as an example, uh, 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 the, 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 the Arab they said, uh, We believe, you know, we believe 
Muhammad, he said to them in chapter 49, verse number 14, don't say we believe, say we surrender. The translation, they use the word submit like in Yusuf Ali, but the truth is, it says we surrender. And here Muhammad is saying that you, uh, Arab, you say we, we believe. Say, say, don't say we believe, say we become Muslims. Now you tell me, Yaqub, how somebody, you are telling him you can say you are a Muslim, but he don't believe. Islam requires full compliance, right? Um, which is requires more than just action itself. No. Uh, sorry, more than just belief itself, yes? No. So prayer, the, the verse in front of you. Here we go. Chapter 49, verse number 14. Read it. All mm -hmm. what you need to do, you don't have to believe at all. Believe no, never. So it says, no, no, sorry. It says here, the Bedouins say, uh, yeah. we believe, say, you believe not, you only say. Mm -hmm. We have surrendered in Islam for faith. Mm -hmm has not yet entered our hearts. Mm. But if you obey Allah and his messenger, he will not decrease anything in reward for your deeds. Really, Allah is also giving most mercy. Exactly. The translation here right. is not is not correct, but let me let me let me fix it. The Bedouin, Al Arab, the Arab, you know, and all yep. Arab are Bedouin anyway. We believe, yep. we believe. They say what they say? We say we believe. Okay? Yep. Okay. He said to them, don't say we believe, but you say we are Muslims. The surrender here is translation for the word Aslamna. Qulu Aslamna. I know you do not know much Arabic, but I think you can read it, right? Yeah, but sorry, sorry, sorry. Just give me one sec. Let me just reread it one more time. Hmm. Say, we believe not only. Say, we have surrendered. Hmm. Okay. For faith has not yet entered your heart. Hmm. Okay, so is, is he saying here, is, is it saying here that the Prophet is supposed to say to them, uh, don't say you believe because you haven't fully surrendered. No, you sh he should say, don't say we are Muslims. He said to them, you are not a believer, but you are a Muslim. <laughs> he says, okay. read carefully, my friend, the Arabic is so clear. You know, the, Ar the Arab, they said, Amanna, we believe. Say to them, Lam tu'minu, you did not believe. Walakin qulu aslamna. But you should say, mm. but you should say, we become Muslims. Yeah, okay, I see okay. what you're saying. So look what happened now. Do I need to be a believer to follow the God of Islam? No. Muhammad obviously is a gang man. All what he need, you know, people, they surrender to him and his gang grow. You know, you don't care if you believe or not, just obey me. If you obey me, the verse saying clearly, if you obey Allah and his messenger, you are fine. Believe or don't believe, who care? <laughs> The, the biggest is scam in the earth, you know? So, and this is how Islam will grow. Who cares if they believe or not? Conquer the city, everybody die or live. What do you want? Say we are surrendering, you know? This is why the Quran says, uh, the, the chapter of Al-Fatih, you know? When the, when the victory came, the people, they enter into Islam by waves, correct? But, yes, correct. Okay. So why they did not enter into uh, the religion before the, the victory, before the war? It's a war, you know? So when the war, when, when Muhammad was victorious by war, then people, they enter into religion by waves, by tens of thousands. They, there's no believers. Nobody is a believer. No, 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 no. But sorry, sorry. That's not really a fair thing to say. Here uh, we go. The then... chapter of victory, Al, Al Nasr. You know? No, 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 no. I, I don't dispute that. You're right. Uh, people did become Muslims in waves after... Islam became victorious militarily. This mm -hmm. is true, mm -hmm. but uh, you have to remember that uh, back in those days, um, even with uh, Christianity as well, when the, for example, the Roman Emperor when he became Christian, mm -hmm. the, everyone else became Christian, um, pretty much. Um, when the Ethiopian no, my friend, became... let, let me let me let me help you. And and, and, and that was no. No, that's not true. That's not true. It's not true. You see, Christianity was spreading so fast inside the Roman Empire. Even though the Roman, they were killing Christians as, as killing cats and dogs. And you know that, correct? Yep, that's okay. true. And now, because the Christianity is spreading, Christianity was able to arrive to the royal family. It's not because the Christianity was not there, and then suddenly the one king, he become a, he become a Christian, and then everybody become a Christian. Already, Christianity is all over the place. 
No, so, no, no. But what I'm what I'm saying is that um, back in those days, uh, and this is my, my friend. I understand. I understand. The king, he you know, and this will have a huge influence. And this is happening right now. You know, you yeah. see somebody he worship an actor, and the actor become a Muslim. He say, okay, I'm going to be a become Muslim, or he want to be a Christian. So people who love this actor, they say, oh, Christianity must be good because people are dummy. But this is not what happened with Christianity. Christianity spread all over, not by sword. And even the Constantine, the king, who become become a Christian. He did not carry a sword. He says, if you don't believe in me, I'm going to kill you all. He became a, he became a Christian. That's it. You know? But this is, it was already Christianity all over the place. Christians, they have sorry, established sorry, churches. But that's not true. The Christians did destroy uh, the temples. They started to abuse the, the pagans. This is well documented. Well, this is uh, well documented by who? By historians. Okay, where 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 did they start discriminating? Can you show me? Where okay. where exactly? Uh, where exactly uh, that happened? Let me pull up the sources. Bear with me a second. Which country? Which cities? Which? Uh... Uh, predominantly Egypt and Greece. Hmm. Well, uh, you know, I cannot uh, I cannot confirm or deny because I have no idea about it. However, this is not Christianity teaching anyway, you know, this is not Jesus, and this is not the disciple. Everybody knows that Christianity, Jesus, he says, if people refuse you, you know, clean the dust from your sandals and leave them, you know. So if a, a Christians, they do such a thing, this is not really Christianity. People might do bad stuff. Christians, they kill each other too, right? No, no, I, I'm not saying that, you know, Christians are, are doing this, but what I'm trying to say is that... Um, you know, I, I hear you often say that Muslims are are, are violent, blah, blah. You see, when I talk about Muslims, I'm talking about oh. the teaching of Muhammad. When when somebody says to me, ISIS is not Islam, this is a this is a lie. But if I say, let us say now, let us say for sake of argument, we have a Christian ISIS. But this is yep. for, for sure is not Christianity, correct? Because, Why? A, because a Christianity is what Jesus taught. So when people were going out and, um, you know, uh, colonial period and, you know, killing thousands of people. My friend, the that, colonial period, they, nobody is not about, they, they were using it's not about Bible. Christianity, you know, the kings are searching for gold and silver, etc. And then missionaries go with them. That's all. It's not, the purpose is not really Christianity. Those, uh, all those kings, they were corrupt. All of them, they are fornicators. All of them, they kill even each other. They kill Christians. So how in the world they are going to spread Christianity? They are looking for a new land to suck the blood of those people there. That's all. But then the missionaries, they come with them and they spread the Christianity. They, they, they take it as an advantage. Like, like now, you know, uh, the American, they went to Afghanistan. American, okay. they found opportunity. But the American army is not a Christian missionary army, you know. But, but uh, uh, the missionaries, because now it's secure for them to go and open churches. And tens of thousands of Afghani, they become Christians. So, but this is not the army doing that work. This is missionary. People who have no arms, no weapon. You know, me and me and you go to the country because now we can go. So yes, but 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 uh, be, before we go back to Islam, because I think we should focus on Muhammad and Islam. Hmm. But but before we go back to this, uh, you do know the history of Christian missionaries in Africa, especially, right? It's very horrific. Well, this uh, is. Uh, 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 people they make horrific uh, things, but this is not a Christian missionary uh, history. This is not true because a Christian missionary is a is a person who follow Christ and he follow the Bible. So w w when you say in Africa, uh, the Christian they went to Africa and they start killing people who don't believe in Christianity. 